the space environment definitely alters everything. And in a space as historic as this, and the amount of uh, amazing vibes and emotions that has been recorded in this space. When we're recording acoustically, it's all about the room. It's all about what the room sounds like, capturing the sound of that room um, with the in instrument playing it. And, you know, having that Steinway is just, just joyful, isn't it, I think? You know, improvisations are amazing, but they, you, you can't really um, explain it because it's something you haven't done before, technically. You don't get the complexity from simplicity by trying to arrive there. There's not a lot of thought, because you're working on a blank canvas. That sound of acoustic instruments together, playing in unison. By unison, I, mean, I don't mean just playing together, but I mean playing the exact same note in the same register. There's a special sound to that. I think when you, you know, when you're doing um, improvisation of that, uh, you know, of that nature, it's a different way to to approach music because you rely, you know, when I'm when I was playing with David before, I'm looking him right in the eye. You're reliant upon a communication, you know, to know where people. So you've got to kind of feel people, you know, if you want to if you want to be locked in with them. It's kind of like an invisible track that's here, and you have to get on it in order to be. You know, and, and if you do that, you'll have such a communication that the music changes at the same time. It's a way of being. You know what I mean? So when you're in those moments and, and you're playing music, there's just you're just in that. You're not really there's no thoughts. As soon as you start thinking it breaks down. It is amazing where it ends up wanting to go and where you end up going with it. And it can get very, you know, multi-dimensional, 3D, holographic, uh, you know, uh, totally different dimensions, yeah. The, the musicians like that, they just see things, you know, they see things you don't see, so they can hear a chord or a, a progression I'd never even think exist could exist. But in their holographic mind, they, they're just seeing t tangents and versions of, of simple things all the time. I wanted to create the black world, the classical music world, black clothes, black ties, black instruments. We wanted to bring both classical music and the popular music, rock music, together. We you know all this color from the guitars. I think for 70 years now, brilliant guitarists, top players, they all played sunburst guitars. History of the sunburst goes back to the 30s. And one of the, you know, in, in those days, all guitars were black, like all cars were black then. And this one technician, designer, or someone who was trying to play with paints, had the idea of making uh, a colour that emulated the look of a, a, an old vintage Stradivarius that had been sunburst naturally in the sun and the, the way the curve goes, you just get that natural diffusion. And that was the inspiration for the original sunburst. Sunburst it came from aged instruments. When you play an instrument and it's made from wood, color changes. You see a Willie Nelson's guitar and it's colorful. There is dark and in the middle when he, there he plays is light. I think that's a native born color when you play it. The sunburst element, it's kind of timely for Steinway. I think it sort of sets it apart in the modern era. You know, you've got to live in possibility, haven't you? Like, to be, you know, what's possible for all of us, you know, I think as humans and as musicians, I mean, once you start having ideals or you, you can't have that, I mean, ideals are a limited outcome. It's a fixed outcome for an ideal. You can't have pianos that are sunburst. Well, why not? But if you live in possibility, wow, what if you made a sunburst piano? You know, who knows? So I think, it, to me, it, like any time you're breaking out of, you know, old habits or challenging your own status quo, I, you know, I think that's a healthy thing. It's a very striking piano, the, the sunburst element to it. But at the same time, it's very sort of balanced and, you know, almost modest in a way. But it's, uh, it's beautiful. The idea of a sunburst on a piano, I've, I've never seen that. I've actually never seen it. I, I, is that an old, is that, that's new, right? I think it's a nice touch. You don't notice it at first, but then when you do, you're like, wow, that's really unique. 
you know. And I think I think that's uh, fitting with the Steinway uh, persona and uh, legacy that it's not too uh, loud in your face. It's there's a there's a restraint there that's uh, that uh, you know belies the quality of of the of the craftsmanship that's gone into it. Um, beautiful. It's classic and it's. It's a beautifully made instrument. It's a very subtle, nice way of kind of reinventing it in a little way. And making it a bit more rock and roll, I suppose. I feel like a rock star now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have my own guitar. For me, it's when I see this uh, sunburst piano opens, it's like, like a sunrise. And it brings me to a good mood. It is uh, when I wake up in the morning and I go to bath and I see and I watch what kind of weather is it, and the, the sun is shining, it will be a better day. And it's the same with the piano. It opens, the sun rises, and I'm in a good mood. This is it. <laughs>